The so-called Islamic State group has claimed it was behind the shooting. Well, the rise of Islamic extremism was already one of the key issues in the French presidential election campaign before yesterday's attack. Now, some of the main candidates have put a halt to their campaigns as investigations continue. The BBC's Karen Giamani is in Paris for us this morning. Uh, Karen, we can see the location behind you, the Champs Elysees. They're busy once again now, but of course it was on lockdown for many hours overnight. Just bring us up to date with any developments through the morning. Yes, uh, Charlie, as you will see, Parisian life on a Friday morning looks completely normal behind me. That nightmare roundabout, notorious, uh, is back with crammed with traffic. And uh, on the other side, effectively, from where we are, the, the back of the Arc de Triomphe is where the Champs Elysees is and where that attack took place just after nine o'clock last night. But it's fully open today and the metro stations all around Paris are open. Parisians returning to what they do every day with that knowledge, of course, of what happened last night. But can you imagine, it was right in the middle of the final presidential debate, live on primetime TV. The 11 candidates were talking about all sorts of issues. Marine Le Pen, interestingly, had also just been talking about security in Paris is worrying about her children going out into the city uh, when this happened and everybody now is speculating on what the political impact might be of France's latest terror attack. Some are saying it might move uh, the vote to the right, others are saying it just won't make a difference. Very quick look, can you imagine, no politics at all on some of the front pages, just three days to go to a presidential election. Le Figaro says uh, terrorism strikes again in the heart of Paris, showing the Champs-Élysées with the Arc de Triomphe at the top. And there, Le Parisien, a uh, very, very striking picture there of the scene on the, uh, uh, the Champs-Élysées uh, just after the attack. Uh, but in very great contrast, of course, uh, to what we are seeing uh, today, because Paris is getting on with being a capital city. Karin, thank you very much.